Welcome to The Delilah Show. Look, I am so excited to have you with us. Now we're on YouTube weekly at 8 p.m. on Thursdays. How wonderful, and I just love seeing you. So please, please subscribe to our channel and get your friends to. Anyway, let's get on with the show. Right, we're back with Sarah Jane, and I must say, I got so excited last time uh, we had a talk mm. about this blue ball because I am really, really excited about going to it because I just love balls. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm thrilled to have you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's just one of those things I really enjoy doing is, is going out dancing and having a great time. Um, one of my good girlfriends, Cindy and Carrie, they love getting up dancing. And oh, wonderful! Yeah, that you know they, um, you know they just like to get out there and you know, I'm trying to get them to a few uh, the Mars Bar events, but um, I haven't been able to go at this point. But I'm, I'm working on it. There's a great Mars Bar event. Yeah, I up. know, I know. And, and, <laughs> um, a lot of my friends. Are yeah, I know. Um, now tell us a little bit about. Vonnie, who's host, the hostess of the night. Tell you know, oh. a bit, of, bit about her history. Vonnie Britt Watkins <coughs> is the most amazing lady. Yep. She has been in the entertainment industry for in excess of four decades. Right. Um, she originally worked as a lay girl, and yes. she's worked with Carlotta in King's Cross yep. with lay girls right. and in Adelaide as well. Mm -hmm. um, she currently has a show every Sunday at... Uh, the Edinburgh Castle oh, called yes. Bonnie's Big Arvo and she yes. has some of the drag uh, people come in and do shows there which was yeah. it's a laugh a minute yes. she um, she's very witty mm. very witty uh, very quick wit and if she gets any uh, stick from the audience she will definitely give it back yeah. give her give her a really hard time <laughs> well, she uh, not not such a hard time, but mm. yeah, you know, if if someone makes fun of her, she'll yeah. definitely take the opportunity yeah. to make fun back. <laughs> yeah. Now, with La Belle's, that's something that a lot of people wouldn't know of. Uh, tell us a little bit. Do you know anything about that? Well, La Belle's is a bit before my time. Probably, yes, I was yeah, a yeah. child back then. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, um, I, I have heard of it. I mean, some people. Yeah, I must it was admit, a, it was before a strip my club time back as in well, the seventies. So, yeah, oh yeah, 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 well, we're yeah. just so young. Well, now, I know, I you know. know. Yeah, just us young girls. Have I know, I, I know. But I had my, my my grandmother did tell me about La Belle's. <laughs> And um, she <laughs> well, I think it was in Hindley Street. I'll stand corrected. Yes, but, okay. Um, it's where Crazy Horse is now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's where you start. But Vonnie started off working there, if I'm yes, okay, correct, right. and then went on okay. to um, Lay Girls, yes. and then moved to King Cross and did King's okay. Cross and did Lay Girls with okay. Carlotta. And then, so okay. she's been everywhere. She's right. been back and forth to Adelaide, and she's been back here for I think twenty yeah, years yeah, now. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And right. and a lot of the entertainers, I mean, how many entertainers are there? Are there? I have uh, about 17 entertainers for great. the night. So oh, that's hmm. terrific. It should be a great night. And um, and people can get a meal at Venue 63. 63, yes. Yeah. And, um, Barbara yeah, Bailey will yeah, yeah, come yeah, through I mean, out there. That'd be good. And we'll look forward to seeing everybody there. And I've got it organised by... Beautiful blue dress I've bought. So as long as we don't clash. Yeah, I know, I know. We're going to have to converse yes, over I'll, this. Yes, I might just like... send you a picture and just make sure. Okay. I'm sure we'll clash. I'm sure there'll be a lot of blue dresses that night. I'm sure there will be. <laughs> there'll be a lot of people coming out and drag that night as well, yeah. which is going to be so much fun. Yeah. But, yeah, um, yeah, that's good. yeah the prime objective is is to yes. make money for Beyond yes. Blue. So, yeah, and Beyond have Blue. a good time doing yeah. it. So. And just, I know we didn't talk about Beyond Blue. Just a little bit about that, just very quickly, very briefly. Um... Beyond Blue, what is okay, what is Beyond, it? Beyond Blue is a non-profit organisation that is Australia-wide. Yes. Um, it caters for all people from all backgrounds in life, um, communities as well, for uh, offering support for depression, anxiety, suicide. They have yes. a 24-hour counselling service that right. obviously needs continual funding. Yes. Um, yeah, it's just 
it's just a really good organisation yeah. to yeah. help. It's someone to listen yeah. to you when yes. you haven't got anyone to listen to, yeah. and we all need somebody sometimes. So. And yeah, and this is a fundraiser. Yes, so it's totally all the money like, goes straight to Beyond Blue great. to help okay. keep it's, the counselling going yeah, and and the programs running and things like that. Sarah, so it's a wonderful thing you're doing, and. Uh, if they want to book for the ball, they uh, contact you, is that right? Yes, they can phone me. Yeah, okay. And uh, what was the number again? It was 041 22 Okay, great. Or they can contact you on Facebook. On Facebook as well, Sarah yeah. Jane Grace on Facebook. <coughs> and they if they buy the tickets through you, it's $15. $15. And if not, they can come on the door that night. And it's $20. $20, $20. but yeah. Okay, terrific. So, great. Lovely having you on the show. Thank you so much. And, I appreciate uh, it. we'll see you at the ball on Really excited. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Right, everybody. Look, we're here with my dear friends, Carrie and Cindy. And we are, well, put it this way, we are very close tonight, so to speak. <laughs> Isn't that right? That is right. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's not because of any particular reason, but um, we're trying to get in the frame of the camera. But And I think we've achieved that. I think we probably <laughs> have. <laughs> but anyway, look, tonight we're talking about some really interesting, sub, well, interesting subjects. Um, now, Carrie, what was it that you wanted to talk about? At the Cabaret Festival, maybe. Oh yes, at the Cabaret Festival. But, and what was, did you want to talk about? You, you did mention a few things. How much wonderful fruit we're yeah. able to get at the moment. Right. Okay. Great. Okay. That's <laughs> very great. Okay. So, okay. So the Cabaret Festival. Well, I must admit, I went to five shows at the Cabaret Festival, and I really enjoyed it. It was excellent. What about yourself? Music has been excellent. Yes, I know. I know. Did, did, what, did you see many shows? Or? I went to the piano bar at the Festival Theatre. Okay, yep. And had a few drinks. And right. Saw some acts there. They were great. Yeah, good. And what did you see? Uh, I saw David Hobson and um, the comedy duo and saw um, uh, Megan Hilty from Smash the TV series. Okay, and, yeah. Um, uh, then, uh, now who was the other one? Um, Rhonda, is it Birch? Birch yeah, Moore? Rhonda yeah, Birch Moore. Yeah, she's an old show girl. Yeah, she, and she's Trevor, gorgeous as a young at heart. And Trevor Astley, yeah. you know, they were twins. Uh, probably a bit of unlikely twins, but they... <laughs> <laughs> and but they, was, but, was, but they both looked very colourful, and, uh, and he was very good in his leotards and whatever. Anyway... So, Where did they hold it? Uh, it was at the Playhouse, and it was really good. I really enjoyed it. It was good. I wore my best frock that night, and uh, and I was uh, went out with my girlfriends, and we all went out for you know girls' night out, so to speak. Sounds you know, good. It, yeah, it was really good. I had a great time. Had a bit of wine. We did get a bit merry. Uh, did k- get kicked out of one of the clubs later, but that's okay. Um, I was I was, I was up every night. Well, I was getting a bit raucous, I suppose. Yeah, so it does happen. But anyway, that's it. Um, Cabaret Festival. And one thing we didn't talk about was very briefly fruit. The fruit at the moment. Yes. Delicious. Absolutely. Carrie um, actually went and picked fruit from an orchard. Great. Um, yes. Which was fabulous. Right. Out of Mount Barker today. Yeah, oh, good. Good. Beautiful. Yes, that's good. I, I've always wanted a fruit. Some fruit out of an orchard myself, so I'd so. like to go and do that strawberry picking. Yes, you know, the, oh yeah, that'd be uh, good. From, oh, yeah, it'd be great. And they yeah. can, do, and you can do that with mushrooms too. You can yeah. go and um, yeah. pick your own mushrooms. Mm. That's good because it's fresh. And that's Absolutely. Good. That's anyway, cool. that's tell it like it is. We do, we, we do. do, we do, we do. <sighs> we make mistakes, don't we? We make mistakes. Here's a film that makes its mistake a number of times. I know, why do people go on saying that Taken is such a great film? I mean, it's an overrated movie. I don't see what's so special about the first one. Now, there's a Taken 4. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, do, oh why do we have to go through this again? 
It's the same thing watching Liam Neeson chase all these baddies. And the story is basically like the first one. You're not going to believe this. But Liam Neeson's daughter, his daughter, ends up in a sex trade. And um, the mother, which is Liam Neeson's daughter, goes, oh, you know, implores the father, Liam Neeson, Back in action to find these people and kill them. Yes, these people deserve to be put under the ground. But do we have to see the same kind of rehash story? I mean, can't they be original? Taken four. I hope it ends on this one. I don't want them to be another one. It's the same stuff. Liam Neeson, why do you do this? Why do you keep making the same film? Do something different. Take it even like other films he's done that are not with the series. I'm sick of seeing this. And it ends quite violently. It has quite a bad ending. But in a way, I was quite happy to see... I don't want to ruin it for you, but I think they all die in this one. I, I, well, there, I've ruined it for you. But I actually thought, hey, I felt so overjoyed because I thought to myself, hey... It's going to end. They're not going to make any more of these films. Taken for Why? Don't go and see this. It's just the same kind of thing. And I was disappointed. Overrated film. Taken for One out of ten. Don't see it. Mad movie now. I will see you next week. When I'm going to actually... I'm going to review an old 80s shocker. But you have to wait till next week. Mad movie now. See ya next week. Stay away from the Taken series, please. Right, viewers, we're at the Glenelg Art Gallery and we're with Rowena. Rowena, it's always a pleasure. And Henry, I brought Henry along because he wanted to come down to the Art Gallery and have a look around. Fantastic, Delilah. Thank you for coming. And Henry, always a pleasure to see you, darling. Thank I know. You. And what a connoisseur of the arts you are. Oh, very good. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Anyway, tell us about what's been going on. Well, we have so many wonderful things always going on down here. Behind us, we've got the beautiful work of Coral Hayes Panaka. Right. Beautiful desert and water rock holes. Mm -hmm. We're lucky enough to have... Um, uh, uh, Pan Dodds here today that will talk to us a little bit later as well. Terrific. We've got lots of events coming on. We've got the Amnesty International uh, Tea Party coming yes. up on the 18th of August, right. which is going to be fantastic, where we're celebrating with all this beautiful art, art china, art porcelain from the um, yep. art galleries up in the Northern Territory. Right. Um, we've got lots of, um, we've got Sala coming up, of course, yes, with 20 course. brand new artists Terrific. filling up the gallery. Uh, we've got the two exhibitions going on at the moment, there's um, Dragan, mm. and uh, he's a man from Serbia, and, a, and John... From uh, Italy. Um, <laughs> say that <laughs> always, again. Always lots going on. Can you say that again? No. <laughs> always lots going on down here. Always lots That's going good, on. That's good because every time I come down here, I get really excited because there's new art. I mean, obviously, there's a, a huge turnover, isn't there, of uh, artists and people selling their paintings and. Uh, Absolutely. Well, I like to think that a little bit of art can ch just just one a new painting in a room. I always say to people, make the most of your space, decorate yes. it beautifully, put things around you that make you feel good. Yep. You know, that bring out the happiness in the day. Yes. And uh, paint. It's so easy to change a look and a feel and a design of a mm -hmm. space simply by changing a piece of art. You know. Yes, I know. I know. So we I, have lots I mean, of fun and, doing that. and it's so many new paintings. I'm just yes. Overwhelmed. Yes, I can I can take you around and show you later. Okay, you that'd be good. To. I'd love like to a see personal it. tour. Oh, I'd love to see all <laughs> the new art. Um, now tell us about this amnesty, isn't it? Yeah, amnesty and, where, and, and what is what is and when is this? Well, it's coming up on the eighteenth, and we're fortunate to have. Who's the eighteenth of eighteenth uh, of August? August. Okay, what time is that? Um, it's going to be at eleven. Eleven o'clock. Eleven a.m. in the 11 morning. Eleven a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, terrific. And um, what so what the idea is that we have a beautiful morning okay. tea. We've got some lovely ladies making us yummy cakes and things. Uh, we ask people to buy a ticket, which will be online in various ways, and mm -hmm. we can talk about that later. Mm -hmm. um, and they come along, and basically they're buying their morning tea and cakes, and all of that money is going to the Amnesty uh, International. Right. We're lucky enough to have Meredith here today from Amnesty, so perhaps yep. she can tell us about what yeah. Amnesty does. Yeah, okay, and... Um 
All right, that sounds great. So, is, so it's a fundraising event. It's is, a fundraising. And event. is there a cost? There is a cost, um, but we haven't. Yeah. There is a cost, but Meredith will talk about that okay. later. Okay, terrific. No worries. Well, thank you, Rowena. You're very <laughs> welcome, Delilah. Yeah. And, and again, lovely to see you, Henry. We'll give you a tour of the gallery. Oh, I love that. Right. Take care now. <laughs> right tonight, we've got Henry with me. My beloved Henry. Hi, Henry. Hello, darling. Oh, are you so... My little twinkle eyes. I know. I know. You just say some beautiful things to me. You know, little booty kiss. Oh, little butterfly. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's just... You bloom all the time. I know. I know. Oh, he's so romantic. Oh, yes. I know. Oh, I'm you. sorry. I just I... get overwhelmed when he says romantic things like that. Oh, it's just a... A wonderful, wonderful thing. What I what I love about you, Henry, is your stomach. You know what I mean? Because it really is a, a wonderful thing. Because when we dance, we sort of bounce off each other, so to speak. Well, there's more of me to love, isn't it, Bunny? Yeah, I Bunny know, Bunny. I know, I know, I know. Look, anyway, tell me a little bit about your things you've been up to. Well, yeah, you were talking about swimming before because I was over there listening. Oh, yes, With yes. Uh, Carrie and Cindy here. Yes, yes, yes. And I went swimming, and I went all the way to the water, put my toe in, and ran back out again. It was really, 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 really freezing. Well, it is It is a good thing to do that. Did you know there's people that actually go down and swim in the cold water in the early morning about 6.30? And I wasn't sure if it was on Brighton Beach or one of those beaches, but... Um, I have thought about it, but I just can't get out of bed. It's just it's did, too cold. Did they have their head examined? Uh, yeah, but they, they, they swim and they do a little bit of swimming up and down the uh, the beach and they, mm. and they run run along. And well, I ran down the beach, put my foot in the water, ran back out in the car, went home, got myself a coffee and went in front of the yes, heater. I know, I know. And I watched TV. I know. and That's and, my exercise and, for the day. And, and the great thing about it is that, you know, like, on my birthday, you, you come in and give me those beautiful little little roses and and make me a cup of tea. Oh, I just love it. It's just so beautiful. I so, always make you a cup of tea. I know, but you, this is on my birthday. I and, know, and you get and a, chocolates and a piece of toast with a you know, with, you know shaped little, like a love heart. A little, little bit of Vegemite on it. You know, and a lo- I shape and like a, a love heart. I know, and I and I put strawberry jam on some of them. Uh, so. It's so beautiful. It, yes. it's, it's so romantic. Look, I I just love love it when you're here and we talk. You know, sit on the couch and have a chat. And do you know what I like? What do you like? When we have pasta and you take one and I take the other. And I know. And then that's, like, that's like a lady <laughs> on the tram. Yeah, well, that's Can we just do that. I, I sort of got that from there. So the lady on the tram, like yeah, and, uh, and, uh, just show, us, like, show me how we do it. They go. Can we just do it again? <laughs> Yeah, I know. I no, get just, 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 oh, so much. Oh, such a I love doing things with you, Lola. Oh, I really do. Beautiful yeah, thing. I really, and, I really do. Yeah, Henry, the love of my life. Anyway, Henry. Yes. We're going to come back and talk more about our adventures and time with Delilah and Henry. I'm it's a sure wonderful. Oh, that will be exciting. <laughs> it's a wonderful and exciting time. Of course, it is. Anyway, my beloved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, everybody, I'm with my friends, all my best girlfriends tonight, and it's good to see you all again. Hi, Lara! Yeah. <laughs> One of the things um, we're going to talk about is why women like to look beautiful like we are. Okay, Clara, tell us. <sighs> well... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so beautiful. I, I don't have any brain well, cells left. Well, I've realised that, Clara. And Cindy, tell us why you look so beautiful. <laughs> must be the hat. It's got to be, be the, the hat. hat. <laughs> I know when the hat looks beautiful on you. I reckon the hat suits girls. And, and, and we should all wear hats more often. I agree. Okay. Yes. I agree. Okay. My dear Gigi. Well, you have to look beautiful because if you don't, let me not look at you. That's right. Until, uh, but then sometimes they start talking, they get to know you, they think you're beautiful inside. Yeah, well, that's it. Well, a lot of men think I'm beautiful inside, but I always let them know I've got a wonderful husband at home 
called Henry with a big stomach. But anyway, um, now... <laughs> and he's luckily not on the inside. <laughs> yeah, but no, but he's lovely on the inside, but outside he needs a bit of work. But anyway, Carrie, um, can you um, tell us why you look beautiful? Why you feel... Because you wear something you love wearing, yeah. and if you yeah. feel good, yeah. you'll... That's right. Light shine, light to light. Absolutely. Yes, if I you know. feel good, you look good. Yeah, yeah, no, and, you and look yeah. Because you know, confidence the, from I, the inside I, out. Yeah, and confidence. I think, I think what it is, I think us women like to always look our best, don't we? And, oh, yes, and, we uh, do. And one of the things is is the right makeup, the right dress, the right jewelry, and you know, the right attitude, the right attitude, and and one thing that you should always do on the dance floor and. I've been told by a lot of my girlfriends, including Gigi, that to get men's attention, you should, you know, move your bottom more. Is wiggle, this, wiggle, wiggle. Is, is this right, Cindy? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. wiggle, wiggle. You're wiggle, asking me. Yeah, yeah. It, what do you feel? Do you reckon that's... Uh, I don't know. Similar? I haven't felt this. I, okay, okay. And what about you, Clara? Do you feel that's the right to get attention? Do you ever try that appeal or on the dance floor or not? Oh, uh, I've been told I I dance quite uh, interestingly. So uh, I <coughs> guess that you know whether they're looking at me out of shock and horror or admiration, I'm, you oh, know okay. I'm, I'm happy with whatever. So yeah, creative. Yeah, so yeah what about, creative. <laughs> what about you, Carrie? Do you feel that you know that's a a way to get a man's attention? Well, I like to just feel the music. Yeah, and well, go with the rhythm. Yeah, well, I do as well. So but that. They'll look at you. Yeah, I know. I know. And I, and I noticed that... You know, entity on your own. <laughs> yeah, I, I tend to put my chest out and my bottom bottom out and it all sort of comes together when I'm dancing. You know, That's it. You lose yourself in the music. What's that saying? You're only as good as a man you feel? Yeah. <laughs> ah, how many you feel? Yeah, how many have you feel? Well, I, I mean, have eleven heart <laughs> I have eleven heart <laughs> cells, right, and now I've got a lot of experience. You've had, but, but I don't know. Is that the right saying? I don't know. Yeah, I'm I know, Italian. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> well, we know Judy. You like to fill men. I understand that. But anyway, look, because um, she's Italian. But but anyway, the main thing is we all like to look beautiful, and that's what this is segments about. Looking beautiful, Go girls. Go girls! Girl power! Girl power! Right, viewers, today we're at the Glenelg Art Gallery and we're talking to Meredith from Amnesty. Hi. Hi, Delilah. How are you? Lovely to meet you. you and too. I brought Henry along because Henry is supporting me today. And I bet Henry's interested in human rights as well. Yes, yes. I am. I'm yes. interested in rights. Any rights. Yes, yeah, especially, especially Amnesty rights. Yeah, yes. absolutely. That's very great to hear. Hmm. Can you tell us a a little bit more about it. Uh, well, as the name suggests, Amnesty International is an international uh, organisation. It's a non-government organisation dedicated to defending uh, the human rights of uh, people who, who are being uh, abused or violated in some way around the world. So we have 7 million members worldwide. Uh, it's been running for 50 years internationally, so it's mm -hmm. a very big organisation uh, with a uh, long-standing and, and uh, well regarded reputation mm -hmm. um, and we meet actually the, our local activist group while right. it's got seven million members it's really important what people do in their local community and this right. is our mm -hmm. um, meeting place if you like at the gallery for the oh. Rotten Glenelg Action Group. Right. I, I didn't realise that so and, and uh, you are having a, a fundraising event soon. Aren't you? We are, we are actually doing a, cu a couple of events. We meet once a month here at um, the third Tuesday of every month mm -hmm. uh, to uh, make sure there's local action around human rights happening in, t in the community mm. and on the 18th of August in particular we're having Amnesty which is a fundraising uh, mm -hmm. event um, where we have a morning tea uh, to raise funds from Amnesty International. Mm -hmm. For our Amnesty, we're focusing on Community is Everything, which is a one of the campaigns that Amnesty runs. Uh, that campaign is particularly focused on reducing the rates of Indigenous youth mm -hmm. being put into prison. And uh, so it's a really, really important issue. And for our tea party, we have all this beautiful Indigenous oh, crockery. Lovely. Um, so we're going to have high tea together, and perhaps yes. you might like to join me. Yes. Mm. Thank you. Oh yeah, no, you're keen, Henry. <laughs> I'm thirsty. 
and I'll do one for you as well. And you can just see how gorgeous the teapots are. Oh, yes. So we're asking people to come along and join us for a tea party, even a pretend one like little girls. Um, make a donation, what, what you pay for cake and tea when you go to a cafe, and you also have the option of getting some of this great Indigenous uh, crockery through the gallery, and Terrific. Rowena Brown, the gallery director, yes. is generously donating 10% of all the sales of the uh, uh, crockery to Amnesty as well. So that's great. just fabulous. We have to clap her because that's yes. amazing and, and beautiful. Um, so yeah, come and join us, 11am yes. morning tea time, Yes, here in the gallery. Great. Yeah. Okay, terrific. And Meredith, thank you for talking a little bit about Amnesty. And please pleasure. come back again sometime. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, to wonderful to meet you. Yeah, yeah you wonderful. too. I hope you come to the tea party. I'd love to. You can promise? I will promise. All right, <laughs> see you there. So here's one I used to enjoy with the boys back in the day. Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here. Please, please subscribe and we'll see you next Thursday at 8pm. See you then. Bye.